Gemini, this is Amber with Lives in Sync Tarot. Thank you so much for coming back again. This will be your reading for March 16th through 31st. I hope you're doing awesome. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do it the same way we did the beginning of the month. This has been working out really well for me. I really like it. This will be your relationship intuitive card. This is your path intuitive card. Your romance situation. You actually got two for this time period. Very interesting. Um, this is what your guard, the guardian angels would like you to surrender. And this is your higher self. What your higher self would like you to know during this time period. So your relationship intuitive card is awaiting results your path card is partnerships and alliances okay so right now gemini it looks like you are definitely evaluating or and i can't even say that it's time for you to evaluate some situations that you're in for some of you it's family for some of you it's friends i feel and I also feel that it, you're awaiting results in a love situation, meaning that it feels like you're planting and it doesn't necessarily have to be intimate relationships. It can be family, friends, uh, co-workers. It looks like you're planting some seeds, trying to get things to grow and you're just waiting. And it almost feels like you're trying not to pay attention to it. Um, you're just doing the motions because you feel like that's what you should do. And that's why I'm getting this partnership and alliance. I feel like you should reevaluate re what you're waiting on. Something feels wrong here for some reason. Um, reevaluate. Th that's that's what I'm hearing. Reevaluate your partnerships and alliances. There's one partnership or a situation in your life that doesn't feel quite right. And it's time for you to acknowledge that and evaluate the situation. Okay. So in your love sector, you had two cards. You had unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And you also have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And this is what I get from this, which is really interesting. I get that it's time for you to evaluate this situation that you're in because in the long run, it's not something that you're going to be happy in. It's not something that's going to work out for you, um, for your greater good. And it's about expressing that you care about this person. You don't, you're not trying to hurt them, but this just isn't best for you right now. And that's, that's really what I'm getting from that. Interesting. Surrender to sleep and rest to prevent burnout. Slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. So there's something that you are in. There is something that you are doing and it is time for you to think about yourself, Gemini. It's time for you to think about yourself and what's best for you. And that's why it's time for you to reevaluate these. It's time for you to take a rest from this so you can heal. Your higher self would like you to know right now, envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Okay? And what I'm getting from this is to realize that you're not alone. You're not alone and you're a part of the structure that is this world. There are people out there that can help. I'm also hearing that people can help themselves. It's not really up to you to to solve the manner. Everybody is the same. Everybody has the same possibilities that you have. Have the same 
choices that you have as well. And you just have to remember that. Okay. So we're going to pull your cards now. Okay, I already shuffled and meditated over them, so. Four of Swords, all about resting. Eight of Pentacles, the Magician. Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Fool, Four of Wands, Three of Cups. This is definitely about family or friends. Thank you, Spirit. I definitely heard that, and that's definitely what it's about. It's about family and friends, okay? And I feel like you're moving around. You're moving around. You're trying to get things together for them. You're trying to fix situations uh, so everyone can be happy, so, so everyone can be comfortable. It's like you're trying to create a solid life for for them, for everyone. The problem is you're not resting. You're not thinking about yourself. You're just working to accomplish things. But I, I feel like you're not even doing it for yourself. You're doing it for everyone else. And you have control over your destiny, just like they have control. It's the same thing in the Oracle cards, just like if that they have control over their own lives. So it's time for you to stand up for yourself. What's best for you? What what do you need? What are the results that you are trying to accomplish for yourself, not just for your family? I can't say that you don't like doing this because it, it you do and I'm not saying that you don't but there needs to be a good medium between the two it looks like you're helping and this is not for people who have like you're a mother with children I feel like this is someone else trying to help their family and someone is not stepping up the way they should be. And maybe you're talking to this person about that and they're not reciprocating it the way you thought they would and they're they're not being nice to you or they're making you feel like it's something that you have to do. But you know that you don't have to do it. You were just doing it out of the kindness of your heart. But now but now you're reevaluating what's best for you because you want a happy home life or a, a home for yourself good times for yourself to be married and have your own family so it looks like you're going to take a risk and step out of this situation move move past it and i'm not saying that it's going to be easy because it's not it's not going to be easy, especially with this Ten of Swords here. But you're coming into a new cycle going from a 10 to a 0. You go, you, you go from a 10 to a 0 to a 4. Meaning that you make a progression fast. Um, it's like you learned. It was hard. You got your feelings hurt. You decided to take a risk. You took the risk. And now you have your first accomplishment. So, 
it's like you you've you're help you've helped as much as you can help okay and Yeah, and you, you're standing by what you believe in because you're releasing this. You're realizing that this isn't this isn't something that's good for you. you you're not. It's not healthy. the The bond, the situation is not healthy, and and you're standing up for what you believe in. This is the 9 of wands, sorry if you can't see it. And you're 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 standing up for yourself and you're continuing on. You know that there is things that need to be done and you're doing it. I, I feel like for some of you, you're going to stay here because it's family and you feel the need to keep everyone happy. But realistically you're gonna have to do things for yourself um you're gonna have to focus on yourself at, at some point and this queen of pentacles may be a earth sign which is very interesting um they are taurus virgo or capricorn maybe you know how i feel about doing that and the star came up as I pulled from the Queen of Pentacles. So that means that you have faith in this person. And I'm really getting that feeling because this is this is a person that's sturdy and likes to do things for their family. And you know if given the chance that or given the, the proper push, if you will, that they'll be able to to do what they need to do, to be inspired to heal whatever needs to be healed maybe you were helping them because they were hurt or lost or or something of that nature but um this is it's like it's giving them time to heal and now it's time for them to move forward and it's going to be hard the transition is hard i'm seeing with this 10 of yeah the the transition <laughs> The transition is hard, but the strength comes up, meaning that they're going to have to buckle down and do it. And you're going to have to buckle down and know that you can't save everyone. OK, so you can take your own risks and move at your own pace. It looks like you want things to go back to where they were, to how they used to be. You want things to go back. And that's what makes you have this talk with this person. about doing better yeah you're starting something new Gemini um, when you have this talk with this person you decide to take a risk on something you've been thinking about doing something you had a passion for or something that you possibly let go for a second um, and you're going back into that. It's an adventure. And it looks like you become accomplished in whatever it is. You, you really do that. And you use this time to get yourself back together. To almost recuperate your, your life and what you need. Okay? because you weren't doing anything because there was a blockage there was a delay so you're giving that up so you can actually move forward so that looks good for you i mean i feel like you have a hard decision <laughs> gemini about moving forward with it. whoever this is that you need to talk to it's not going to be easy okay it's definitely definitely not going to be easy so i'm going to pull for you a guidance card and spirit keeps directing me to this life purpose deck which is very interesting because 
maybe somebody out there needs it. Wow, life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. This has to be that fire energy. I really get that from this card. That that new beginning that you want it to take is for your life purpose. You're really focusing on the things that are important to you right now. Healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and deserve to share it with others. So that's the problem. Is that I feel like you were helping out your family and friends trying to get them to heal themselves or to get better so they can get on their feet and you're just doing it because that's who you are but now you need to focus on helping others and not being stuck helping others helping people that can help themselves it's like it's time for you to move on from wherever you are very interesting gemini very interesting reading for you this month I really hope that this resonated with you and helps you along your journey. Please like, share, and subscribe if you would like a personal reading specifically on your own life journey. I will be more than happy to do that for you. And that information will be in the description box below. <laughs> um, I love you. Have a great end of the month. Love and light. Bye-bye. <laughs>